Welcome. Today we continue our Advent journey. These next two weeks all lead up to Christmas and that see in the manger and our living Lord being born. Joy and love. Advent Week 3, Joy, December 15, 23, 2 p.m., London, in Connecticut. And in case you're wondering why we are doing this now, it's because we might not be able to tonight at 7 o'clock. So, just agree to just do it now. And as mentioned, today, now, 2 o'clock, joy, 
Sunday the 24th, I just want to make another program alert, program alert. That will be next Friday night at 7 o'clock. And, of course, Monday the 25th is Christmas Day. I just want to give you a couple of announcements. One is, we made it through the semester. It is over. So now a much-needed break. Also, tomorrow, we will be going. I will be going to GCT. So you might get a little footage of the holiday fair that we were going to there. And as we wrap up the holiday shopping season, and then we get ready for Christmas. As I talked about last week, there is hope and peace this time of year. And now we are halfway through Advent. So that's so this is the joy. And I will talk about that when we light the third candle. So receive the call to worship. God loves justice. People call us to act in compassionate ways towards others. Rejoice! God has placed trust in you to be those who will bring good news of peace and joy. With the healing love of God in our hearts, we journey through this season, get ready to welcome the one who will turn the world upside down. Come, let us worship and praise God, whose love is showered over us. Lord God, be with us as we seek your guidance and work to do your will. Amen. And you please rise and say with me, open in him. Come down line and spend to Jesus. Am I going to grab my hymn there? All right, and all hymns will be a cappella today. So, come thou line and spread to Jesus, 244. Come thou line and spread to Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins release us let us find our rest in thee israel's strength and consolation hope of all the earth thou art Dear desire of every nation, joy of every Lord and heart, for thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king. Born to reign in us forever, now the gracious kingdom break. By thine own eternal spirit, rule in all our hearts alone. By thine all-sufficient merit, raise us to thy glorious throne. Lord, this afternoon we come before you. There's plenty of joy to be had around here. And in the fall semester, and looking forward to a much needed break. Today, by your spirit and your word, lead us ever so closer to the day of your birth, as you are exalted today and every day. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. He is exalted.
2070 in the faith we say. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise his name. He is the Lord, forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in his holy name. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. We'll do it one more time. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise his name. He is the Lord, forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in his holy name. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. Okay, so we're going to pretend that we have three candles here. The third candle is a symbol of joy. Knowing we've gotten close to Christmas and the joy that break, that day brings to the youngest and oldest to, to us, oldest of us, excuse me. Christmas is for everyone and a wonderful opportunity to come back together with the ones we care about and love very much. So this is that joy we were talking about at the top. Finish the semester and come back together with the ones that we love and the ones that we care about very much, from the youngest of us to the oldest of us. Let's pray. Lord, this candle is a symbol of joy, the joy that is to be had in 10 days. But for now, it's the joy that we can give each other in this special time of year as we have continued our walk through December. And we know of that special day to come where we will find you in human form as you are the light of Christmas now and forevermore. Amen. Come light of Christmas.
All right, thank you, Quiet. It was very pretty. So it is offertory time, meaning that this is the time for you guys to, to subscribe and continue to check out some of the other videos we're working on as well. I have taken down two Madden simulations that are going to be redone. There was a recording error with the Patriots create havoc for the Ravens in London and also going to do the simulation for this week's game again. The actual time that it's now. And also, as I mentioned at the top, if you guys have any videos you want me to present, any topics you want to talk about, please leave them in the comments down below. We're always taking suggestions. And obviously, I'll see what I can do. But, in the meantime, the ushers, please come forward as we receive the afternoon's gifts and offering. Our offertory is a time for Advent. Let God be exalted. 
Please rise. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, all above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Lord, it's this joyous time of year where we can think about the day to come. So come, Emmanuel, and be with us in our presence. But in the meantime, take these gifts and multiply them and make yourself known throughout the world as we have made it to the end of this fall semester and hopefully find our way back with the one that we want to be with. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. All right. So the reading today is Isaiah 61, 1 to 4, and then 8 to 11, followed by Luke 1, 47 to 55. And we're going to talk about what is joy. What can we be joyful for this time of year? So, Isaiah 61. The Spirit of God, the Master, is on me because God anointed me. He sent me to preach good news to the poor, heal the heartbroken, announce freedom to all captives, pardon all prisoners. God sent me to announce that the year of his grace, a celebration of God's destruction of our enemies, and to comfort all who mourn. To care for the needs of all who mourn in Zion, give them bank Give them bouquets of roses instead of ashes, messages of joy instead of news of doom, a praising heart instead of a languid spirit. Because I, God, love fair dealing and hate theory, thievery and crime, I'll pay your wages on time and in full and establish my eternal covenant with you. Your descendants will become well known all over. Your children in foreign countries will be recognized at once. As the people I have blessed, I will sing for joy, and God has flowed in praise from deep in my soul. He dressed me up in a suit of salvation. He, out, he outfitted me in a robe of righteousness, and a, as a bridegroom who put, on, who put on a tuxedo, and a bride a jeweled tiara. For as the earth bursts with spring wildflowers, and as a garden cascades with blossom, so the master God brings righteousness into full bloom and puts praises on display before the nations. And now to Luke 1. Forty-seven to fifty-five. And Mary said, I'm bursting with, good, with God news. I'm dancing the song of my Savior, God. God took one good look at me, and look what ha happened. I'm the most fortunate woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose very name is holy, set apart from all others. His mercy flows in wave after wave. 
on those who are in awe before him. He barred his arm and showed his strength, scattered the bluffing braggarts. He knocked tyrants off their high horses, pulled victims out of the mud. The starving poor sat down to a banquet. The callous rich were left out in the cold. He embraced his chosen child Israel. He remembered and piled on the mercies, piled them high. It's exactly what he promised, beginning with Abraham and right up to now. Here ends the reading, and may God the blessing to the reading of these holy words. So I did not read a book. Okay. So, what is joy? Well, let's ask Google. Hey, Google, define joy. Here's the definition of joy a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. So, it's a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. So, what makes you happy? What makes you feel good about yourself? Well, first of all, we can look at, we got through this semester. May not have been easy at times, but somehow got through. We pushed our way through. That's something to be joyful for. And obviously, the hope of coming back together with the one that we want to, the one that I want to be with. Again, from the summer. That's something to be joyful for. That's something we can be hopeful for. But let's look at a different type of joy. Christmas is about resolving differences and so on. Can you resolve your differences? with somebody yeah you can you can if you do it the right way now i know a lot of you out there probably have all faced the same situation where you want to find your way again you know you want to be able to hang out and have a good time but you don't want to. But you don't want to know what the repercussions are, or what the results will be. Ugh, pardon, or what the results will be if you do it in, if you do that, and then you don't know what the result will be. Because we all want to go out. And we all want to have a good time, but we also want to make sure that we are going out and spending time with the right people. And that's not always easy to do because there's so many people out there that have a hidden code or, or, they hide something and they fake it till they make it. You see, in this time of year, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for anybody. You know, if you want to be with somebody, this is an opportunity to do so. This is not about who did what or who said wh what. That's not what this is about. What this is about is understand the fact that, you know what? Put our differences aside, shrug off the ego, and look forward. Isn't that exactly what we all want? Wouldn't you want to just move forward in the process of whatever it is you were doing and not have this constant back and forth, back and forth that obviously doesn't really, doesn't get you anywhere? It's about having grit.
Now, grit is a psychology word that means to persevere or to continue on. This is not the give this is not about the given and the getting. Because the best gift you can give somebody is yourself. Go do something nice for the one that you want to be with. Maybe make them cookies. Maybe write them a card. Or make time for them. We can be joyful this time of year. And there's a lot of joy that we can be that, like I said, that is had here. Passing those two classes and then on to the next thing. I'm sure for the rest of you, maybe it was a promotion. Maybe it, uh, maybe you got a new car. Maybe, you know, you just, maybe you're going to, let's say, spring training or whatever the case may be. Those are things to be joyful for. But most importantly, at this time of year, if we can be joyful for that day to come. We can be joyful for that in 10 days. We see our living Lord being born. That beautiful gift of human life. Human life is precious. You know, last night I went and saw the new Wonka movie. And there's so much joy to be had for those people that started off struggling, trying to make ends meet. And then all of a sudden, Wonka comes up, gives them chocolate, and then... It's like, it's like a breath of fresh air for them. It's like a sigh of relief. I highly would recommend you guys go see that movie. It is very good. And it's a musical. It's actually called a musical fantasy. Is the technical term of a movie like that. But I would go see it again. Absolutely. And it makes you feel good about yourself. And knowing that, knowing that if you can help out somebody else, you're doing yourself a favor. Seeing is believing. Believing is seeing. Now, with the joy of this holiday, sometimes... It's the opposite. Sometimes it's like you look at a situation in other countries and you look at everything going on in the world. Sometimes it's just another day of the year for a lot of people. Some people don't celebrate this holiday. Maybe they can't celebrate this holiday for one reason or another. You see, what Mary is telling us is that she feels blessed and, the, and she feels joy in her heart knowing that she is carrying our living Lord. As I talked about in the first service, if you may have noticed that the cross was starting to form. Here's the, here's the other piece of joy that we can think about here. The cross may not symbolize joy for a lot of people, but it is a symbol. It, it is a symbol of joy. Believe it or not, the cross actually has meaning, a positive meaning. It means love. And it means the gift that he gives to us through his, through his sacrifice. 
which obviously we don't talk about this time at this time of year. We talk about that in Lent. But the reason why I bring up the crust is because we can look at this personally. Now, it's been a year and a half since we had to say goodbye to Will. But his memorial on top of the TV, that is a symbol of joy. Remembering those good songs you had and, and the joy of what a new Boston will bring. Twenty twenty four might be the year. And also might be the year of going somewhere on Southwest. Hey, anything is possible. And if we want to make it happen, we can make it happen. It takes a little bit of perseverance and it takes a lot of going over safety plans, uh going through going through all sorts of channels it takes when flying. Obviously, tomorrow there is a safety plan in place where we stay at GCT. Sorry, I digress. Now, where was it? All right. So the other things we can be joyful for this year are obviously, you know, we are alive and healthy. We, you know, it is all of this is what this week is about. So even though right now things don't look so good right now, it doesn't mean it doesn't really doesn't mean it's gonna be like that all the time. It doesn't mean that this pattern that we've seen over and over again will happen again. Because it takes perseverance. If you want to be with somebody again. If you know in your heart that you want to be with them and you know that it probably would turn out better the second time, then go for it. Go for it. Because the best gift of Christmas that you can give somebody is yourself. Not materialistic things, but the gift of ourselves. Remember, it's about re receiving, not getting. In the Wonka movie, there is a song that we've been listening to on and off. And it's called Never Had Chocolate Like This. It's a metaphor, it's an analogy for saying that. The people in this movie, when they went through a hard time, he gives them the chocolate, and then all of a sudden, things change for them. And something that started off as a dream. A dream that became reality for those people. So there is joy to be had this time of year. Just like as I've talked about in the previous two, staying at our posts, keeping an eye out. And always keep an eye out. Because who knows? Maybe the one you want to be with, they might surprise you. Who knows? Maybe, hypothetically speaking, maybe one that we want to be with might just show up here today or tonight. You never know. You never know. Or you might receive a phone call from them. You never know. But keep a low profile. Don't get disappointed if that doesn't happen. See, this is the love that Jesus gives us. So even though, even though he hasn't been born yet, 
we can look at this and we can actually think about this in our own lives realizing you know what i have all i need food water shelter and a loving family but a lot of people don't a lot of people don't come home to a warm meal they don't have a home so really it's these are the things that we can be grateful and joyful for at this time of year now i forgot to put this anthem on the schedule or on this presentation but we're actually going to listen to almost there All right, so almost there.
All right, very pretty. And that is true. Almost there. Ten days for that joyous day to come. So there is a lot that we can be joyful for this time of year. And obviously, this is what Advent is about. Getting ready for that day to come. Amen. First song is, Oh, How I Loved You and Me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go. His love for sinners to show. What he did there brought hope from despair. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Lord, today we come before you remembering the joy that we can that has had this time of year. Whether it's getting through a semester, knowing what that day will bring. But through all of this, we know that you have been close by. Like Mary staying at our posts and watching all of this happen. There's so much that we can look forward to during this break and into the new year. But before we even think about 2024, we have to think about what there, what there is to come. We pray that the one we were with this summer comes back to us, words something out. We continue to pray for a new Wilbur, a new Boston. We pray for Grandma's health to get back on track. And for the viewers at home, we pause and give you the chance to lift up those that you know. And so it's to this end, you loved us to the end. You gave your life for us, and now we get ready for you to be born. As it is in that prayer that you taught us, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Closing him as angels we have heard on high.
278. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strain. Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strays prolong? And that what may tidings be with inspire your heavenly song? Gloria. In Excelsis Deo, Gloria. In Excelsis Deo, come to Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels say. Come adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. Gloria in Excelsis Deo. In Excelsis Deo, see within a manger laid, Jesus, Lord of heaven and earth, Mary, Joseph, lend your aid, with us sing our Savior's birth. Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Gloria in Excelsis Deo.
receive the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he help you find the joy in this time of year and hopefully bring you back with the ones you want to be with. And thank you for watching this afternoon. And I will see you back here next week. Amen.